Okay, today I want to talk about transformers. Now, what is a transformer? I've got some examples here. This here is a transformer. What it does, it takes AC electricity in here, it turns it into a magnetic field that gets induced and turned back into AC electricity back here. So what, what's the point of them? Well, the, the point is that they can change the incoming voltage and they can either step the voltage up or down depending on what style of transformer you've got. Okay, let's have a look. So, any transformer basically you've got your primary coil and you've got something called a secondary coil. This here is the iron core. So this is the primary coil. This here is our secondary coil. Now, coming in, we've got AC So we've got AC electricity coming in. We end up with AC electricity coming out. Okay, so AC electricity going in. Now here in the coil, the AC electricity gets turned into a magnetic field. The magnetic field goes through the iron core and induces electrical current inside the secondary coil. Now one of the equations that you have to learn for IGCSE physics is the, uh, the voltage on the primary over the voltage on the secondary is equal to the number of coils on the primary divided by the number of coils on the secondary. So this is the number of coils or the number of turns. Number of turns. Now one of the, the nice things with Cambridge is you only need to know about transformers that are 100% efficient. So Now, what does that mean, that they're 100% efficient? Well, it's all to do with the, the energy or the power going in compared with the power going out. Now, the power going in, all the electrical energy that's going into my transformer all turns back into electrical energy. Now, how do you work out power in terms of electricity? Well, it's the current going in times by the voltage going in, which is going to equal to the current going out times by the voltage going out. Now, let's have a quick example. Let's say we've got a... Uh, a mains transformer, it's got 240 volts going in, but we don't know the current going in. We don't know what that is. But maybe 
it could be for a mobile phone or a USB or something like that. Maybe we've got 5 volts coming out and maybe our device is going to be very, very small. Maybe it's just pulling some, I don't know, let's say half an amp. So 0 0.5 amps. Okay, so coming out, we've got 0 0.5 and we've got 5 volts. So what's the total power coming out here? Well, the total power coming out is going to equal 2.5 watts. Okay, so what was our current going in? Well, we know the power going out must be 2.5. And because our transformers are 100% efficient, the power going in must equal the power going out. So coming out, we must have 2.5 sorry, 2 watts. So we must have the I in times by 240 must equal 2.5 watts. So I in is going to equal 2.5 divided by 240. And if I just go with that, we get an answer of 0 0.01 amps. Basically 10 milliamps.